Hi everyone, it's your girl Robin Shockley with Focus Full with Robin on the go. You never know where I'm going to be. I'm here in Greenville, South Carolina in District 25 in Upstate Circle of Friends. And I have a very special friend that is in the room that I'm going to interview today. We are going to talk to Matop Crawford, who is also known as A Moment with Matop. She is going to be talking about an event she's got coming up, and here she comes now. Hi, Robin. Hey, my sister. How are you? I'm doing great. Oh, it's always great to see you. Yes, you too. And I am so excited to be here because you have got an exciting event coming up, and it Ooh. there's so much purpose to this. Can you tell us a little bit about what this event is and why we're doing it? And why we're doing it here and everything. Okay, so that's a mouthful. So for you all that don't know me, I am Monta Crawford with the Moment with Monta. Um, because I am now with the modeling agency, Peculiar Princesses. I love that modeling agency because it's called Peculiar Princesses, which means that we are unordinary. Okay. So um, it's for all ages, all genders, mm -hmm. all religions. All races, little little babies, all the way up to 60, 70 year olds. Wow. Everybody has an opportunity to walk the runway if they would like. Okay. Um, this gives local designers, stylists, mm -hmm. boutiques um, an opportunity to come out and show their things, okay. their creativity. Um, we also require that the models show creativity and personality. So okay. it's a personality plus kind yeah. of thing. So, um, we are required to put on a fashion show. Okay. Each month. And the name of this? Um, this fashion show is Sweetest Southern Tea. Sweetest Southern Tea. Oh my gosh, because I'm Miss Southern Belle. So I definitely am going to work to try to get myself in the room yeah. for this. First of all, I want to say how proud I am of you. So, this event that you've got going on, tell us the date. The date is April the, Sunday, April the 30th, okay. from 4 to 6. Okay. Um, we're asking vendors to come out. We still have a few vendor spots. Okay. Um, our modeling spots are basically full, but you can come in as a standby model. Um, we're asking any boutiques in Greenville, surrounding areas, Anderson, Spikeburg, Greer, that want an opportunity to show what they have in their boutique um, to come out. Okay. And, you know, supply the models with a couple of outfits okay. that we can show our audience. Now, I want to know, because this is, you're not doing this just for fun. I know this is something that, that you're passionate about because it's personal to you. It is personal. And so let's talk just a moment about why hosting this event, this fashion show, is personal to you. Well, the fashion show is personal to me is because, of course, um, Walking on the runway and being a, a fashion model has always been something that I wanted to do as a child. Mm -hmm. But I was one of those children that were born not in a pretty good area. I always say double zeros. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did not have the clothes. I did not have the direction. Didn't know where to start. Mm -hmm. Couldn't afford to go to modeling school okay. and all those things. And so that puts my heart in a place for other children that have the same challenges growing up. So I work in the community. I'm a community advocate, leader, and liaison. Mm -hmm. Whichever one you choose to, to call me at whatever time, you know, you have to wear different hats when you work mm -hmm. in the community. So in my community, and we're in my community right now. Which is District 25. District 25 in Greenville, mm -hmm. South Carolina. We're here at Upstate Circle of Friends, our community uh, resource connection and venue. Okay. Um, they are awesome. George Singleton and Miss Diane, Miss uh, Diane, always make space for me when I want to do something here in the community. Okay. There, and, and for people that don't know, there are seven hotels in my community that are used for living spaces for families. Mm -hmm. So that means that every hotel has a bus stop. Those children are already challenged with being in transitioning for a permanent housing, okay. and parents are financially burdened sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this fashion show is to kick off the fundraiser to provide clothing, um, uniforms for all those children that live in transitional housing, which is motels, um, shelters, or not living in a permanent place of their own because we know it's a struggle. And so we try to come up with the money to make sure that they have uniforms because mm -hmm. it reduces bullying. Mm -hmm. 
It reduces unnecessary absences. Okay. It reduces stress, mm -hmm. um, which helps that child perform better. Because my motto is, if you look good, you feel good, yes. you produce well. That's right. So uh, we want our children to go back into school with a great attitude. Yes. And we have to dress their bodies to match their attitude. So we want every child to have at least three outfits. So every ticket that we sell for this fashion show, and they're only $15, um, every ticket that you sell will provide a shirt and a bottle for children that live in the hotel. Wow, that is pretty amazing, Mata. What I love about you, because you definitely are an example of a professional maximizer, because you don't just take your business standards um, and make money with it, but you give back to the community with it. So guys, yeah. you need to make sure that you're in the room on April 30th. It's only two hours. There's going to be some vendors here. If you're interested in being a vendor spot, reach out to Miss Mata. If you're interested in coming and bringing your teenage daughter, your youth child, to let them see what it's like to get in the room and let the room work for them. They can see these models, how they can walk in confidence. And what you just said a little bit about educating us about what it is about fashion and how it helps our self-esteem, it helps our mind to be clear. And you're going to be sharing a little bit about that while the, the ladies are on the runway. I will. I will be discussing the things that we have have already accomplished in the community. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with Community Fresh Start, which is an organization that um, I founded in 2018. It's a nonprofit mm -hmm. organization. And that mission is to meet our neighbors. And everybody that lives in a community is a neighbor. So we want to meet our neighbors where they are in life, to face those challenges, to let them know that there's somebody that understands. There's somebody there to not only understand, but to help them find the resources that they need to um, make a positive step in life, to it. come away from the challenge, yes. to, to overcome that challenge yes. with someone there to hold your hand and help either push or pull. Right. Whatever we need to do to get you to the next level mm -hmm. of safety and security, yes. then that's where we need to go. Whether it's clothes to go to work, whether mm -hmm. it's a ride to get to work, yes. if it's housing. Yes. We know we're in a housing crisis in Greenville. We're 3,500 houses mm -hmm. down, so there's a lot of people that are looking for housing. But we help them navigate that challenge of going to their next permanent house. Or we'll find them shelter in other places that can accommodate them and their family. I love it. So if you guys are interested in getting your daughter or a young man or anybody in the room or yourself and you want to build your confidence, I always say get yourself in the room and let the room work for you. Just being in the room, you never know how you're going to make a connection. You never know what you're going to learn from being in the room. And Mata definitely is an example of a community leader, community advocate, community entrepreneur, a community professional maximizer who truly gets out here and she makes things happen. And I am so proud to call her my friend. Oh, I'm proud to tell you my but friend. to interview her on behalf of Focus Forward with Robin. So with that being said, um, can you show us some kind of little techniques that maybe I could learn? Because I do a little bit of modeling, not much, but I did it in high school and I do it a little bit now. But come on here, girl. Let's, let's just see. We'll be really quick. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, now you know this is one of my designs that I designed for myself. Oh nice. This is one of my designs that I've designed for myself. So okay. when you're about to come out and you're actually runway modeling, mm -hmm. it's not about the model, it's about the clothes. Okay. So you just relax, push your shoulders back, okay. put your strut on, and at the first, just the first step, couple steps, you you just want to relax. Okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Try okay. it, Robin. One, two, three. Ah, look at <laughs> to be here at Upstate Circle of Friends. Can you tell us again the address and the time that it's going to be? It will be Sunday, April the 30th at, from 4 to 6 at 29 Ridgeway Drive he, right here in District 25, Greenville, South Carolina at Upstate Circle of Friends. You all 
baby, you babies come on out and see Marta and the great models from Peculiar Princess is put on a spring fashion show. A little sugar in the tea never hurts nobody. Oh, I love it. This is your girl Robin Shockley with Focus Full with Robin on the go because you never know where I'm going to be. Remember what I always say. If you think a thing, you will believe a thing. If you believe it, you will achieve it. Just like a moment with Mata is doing here today. Y'all be blessed.